It's so good to be back here in South Carolina. That's home of the game time. Nice feed. Wow. Another fantastic flush by Bryant. Dunked it right on his head. Look at the ball movement for Carolina. Gosh, that's pretty. Hello again, everybody. Welcome into another edition of Gamecock Insider. I'm your host, Derek Scott. We have a full plate this week, folks. We've got opening day baseball recap. We've got senior day for women's basketball. You know what else is going on? The spring sports have started. That means we're going to get out to the courts and cover some Gamecock men's tennis as they've got an SEC play underway. And after some multiple rain delays and other forms of uh, postponements, the Carolina women's softball team got their season underway. We've got highlights from their home opener as well. So a lot to cover today here on Gamecock Insider. We start with the Prisma Health injury update. Carolina men's basketball continuing to be plagued by injuries and other holdups this season. Right now, it's Seventh Woods who suffered a head injury in practice earlier in the week and was forced to miss the midweek contest against Mississippi State. Jermaine Kuznard, who had been out for a couple games with an ankle problem, has returned to play for South Carolina. So has Justin Manaya. That is your injury report brought to you as always by Prisma Health, the official team physicians of the Gamecocks. South Carolina football under Shane Beamer. These guys are getting to know their new players, new players getting to know their new coaches. And the strength and conditioning staff has guys getting after it right now. Wow, I think I'm working up a sweat just watching those guys get after it. Luke Day really has these players excited right now and getting ready for the 2021 season. When we come back with more of Gamecock Insider, we'll dive into Carolina baseball's opening day and opening weekend, so stay with us. Gamecock Insider is brought to you by Prisma Health, the official health care provider of the Gamecocks, and Home Team Barbecue, the new location for Carolina Calls. Today tastes like a home game, like a huddle. Tastes like we're bringing the heat and like a front row seat. <laughs> Today tastes like we're a team and it never tasted this good. It happens to you. There's Colonial Life. Benefits that help cover what your regular insurance doesn't.
imagine yourself in a new Toyota. With great deals, get ready to turn your dreams into reality. Right now, during Toyota's Ready, Set, Go event, lease a new 2021 Toyota RAV4 LE for just $249 a month for 36 months. That's just $249 a month on the Toyota RAV4. Ready, set, go get your Toyota today. Toyota, let's go places. Welcome back to Gamecock Insider, everybody. I'm your host, Derek Scott. Carolina baseball season is underway, and after last year's season was cut short, of course, by COVID, people were all the more anxious to get a glimpse at this ball club that Mark Kingston has put together. Opening weekend festivities against the Dayton Flyers. We've got highlights from the weekend. Let's take a look. It's just great to be in Founders Park with our team, uh, with our fans. It's, uh, but I thought it all started with Thomas Farr uh, on the mound, really setting the tone for us. Like good defense behind him. Looks like Carolina's going to have some serious power in the bats this season. Home runs flying out of Founders Park all weekend long. And then on Tuesday night, Gamecocks hit seven home runs against Winthrop in another victory. Clemson rivalry series, the Palmetto series going on this weekend. We'll have highlights from that on next week's show, so be sure to tune in for that. Coming up next on Gamecock Insider, we'll switch gears. We'll head to Colonial Life Arena, senior day for Carolina women's basketball. Don't want to miss it. Stay with us. This is Gamecock Insider from Learfield IMG College. Be sure to tune in to Carolina Calls on the Gamecock Sports Network. Thursday night at 7 p.m., we talk basketball with Frank Martin at Home Team Barbecue in Five Points. a lasting impact through acts of kindness, compassion, and strength. They inspire us to innovate and educate to do more than we ever thought possible to help you be your healthiest you. Prisma Health, inspired by you. Imagine yourself in a new Toyota. Hmm. 
With great deals, get ready to turn your dreams into reality. Right now, during Toyota's Ready, Set, Go event, lease a new 2021 Toyota RAV4 LE for just $249 a month for 36 months. That's just $249 a month on the Toyota RAV4. Ready, set, go get your Toyota today. Toyota, let's go places. I'm so done with this. Bank fees? No, I'm looking for love. Oh, you'll love Founders Federal Credit Union. I get 24-7 access. I can pay bills, send money with Founders Pay, mobile deposits, free checking, and I earn more with Loyalty Select. And Founders has awesome low rates on loans for basically anything. Relax. Everyone knows that Founders is better than a bank. Exactly. It's love calling. The benefits of the big banks, the service and low rates of Founders. See if membership is right for you. Relax. You're with Founders. We are back on the Gamecock Insider. Colonial Life Arena hosted Senior Day recently for Carolina women's basketball. Lily Grissett, the only member of the team who classifies as a senior. She, of course, was recognized during the pregame, and then she had a big role to play in Carolina's win over a nationally ranked Kentucky Wildcat team. It was a fun day at the CLA. We've got your highlights here. Well, Lily Grissett moves into the starting lineup on Senior's Day in Columbia, and Bree Beal will come off the bench for the Gamecock. What's so good about South Carolina? Tough defense, helping one another, and then pushing the other way, getting out in transition. Took to Henderson for the layup. South Carolina, its largest lead of the game. And an absolute nightmare to deal with when she gets the ball in the paint. You mentioned senior day. Lily Grissett, the senior for South Carolina. She's been great. She's been really good offensively, defensively as well. Carolina with seven offensive rebounds already in this game. Carolina continues to rumble in transition. Cook on the attack. There you go, Rebecca. Number guard. Another bucket in the paint. Foul. A chance for three for Zaya Cook. And, and I like how Zaya Cook from the start of this game was looking to be aggressive. And that will do it. An impressive bounce back win from South Carolina as they take down Kentucky 76 to 55 the final. Gamecocks bounce back and get a big win over Kentucky. They follow that up later in the week at the CLA with a victory over Ole Miss as well. And they will wrap up the regular season here this weekend, a battle with Texas A&M for supremacy of the Southeastern Conference SEC tournament just around the corner as well. Coming back with more of Gamecock Insider in just a bit, so stay with us. This is Learfield IMG College. <laughs>
have the power to make a lasting impact through acts of kindness, compassion, and strength. They inspire us to innovate and educate, to do more than we ever thought possible, to help you be your healthiest you. Prisma Health, inspired by you. So very sans very. It's not just about style and vision. It's about passion, our passion, to make sure that you have the perfect glasses or contact lenses for your look. You know, it's just so very Sansbury. With so many choices and options available, we want to make sure your eyewear looks great and feels great. That's so very Sansbury. So very Sansbury Eye Center. Good hard work has earned Kelsey O the title of Colonial Life Academic Athlete of the Week. A member of the softball team, O is a junior marketing and management major with a 3.875 GPA. This week's academic athlete is brought to you by Colonial Life. Colonial Life, the benefits of good hard work. 1-1, one, one. good night, oh my gosh. nurse. He's done it again. The trifecta, Wes Clark's third big fly of the evening. My goodness. I mean, Tom, I don't blame Rendon for pitching to him, but I'm not sure who's going to do that this weekend. Wes Clark. And that is your Sansbury. Did you see that play? Wes Clark hitting his third home run of the game against Winthrop earlier this week. Boy, is Wes on a tear, and we'll stay with Wes as we talk to you about our Terminix Pest Player of the Week. Who else could it be but a guy who opened the season in four games hitting 769? Those six home runs that he's already hit, that's among 10 total base hits. He also has walked seven times and hasn't struck out yet. Boy, what a start for Wes Clark, Carolina's designated hitter and backup catcher. As we move on here on Gamecock Insider, let's switch gears a little bit and move to the courts. Carolina men's and women's tennis, they've all gotten their spring seasons underway. SEC action has started as well. Alabama was in town to take on the Carolina men's team. Let's take a look at the highlights from the court. <laughs> number one principle in development, guess what, is personal ownership. Personal ownership. You have to own it. When you begin to own it, look out. When you begin to own it, look out. Gamecock women's basketball fans, download the Gamecock app and play three points the hard way. Brought to you by our friends with the best made-from-scratch biscuits, Hardee's. 
If the women's basketball team makes three three-pointers in a game, you can score a free sausage biscuit at Hardy's tomorrow during breakfast hours. Once we hit our three three-pointers, stop by your favorite Hardy's, show them the coupon in the Gamecocks app, and bam, a free biscuit. Get your biscuit at participating Columbia and Spartanburg area Hardy's. Feed your happy. Absolute Total Care, one plan, always covered. Learn more at AbsoluteTotalCare.com. Today tastes like a home game, like a huddle. Tastes like we're bringing the heat and like a front row seat. <laughs> It's like we're a team, and it never tasted this good. Because of this, we built Ford Super Duty to be our most capable heavy-duty pickup. Because of this, we gave the all-new 2021 F-150 an available 12-inch touchscreen. Because of this, we built Ranger with a terrain management system. And because Ford trucks are built for this, you made Ford America's best-selling brand. Don't miss the chance to get a 2020 F-150 with up to 10531 in total savings at your Carolina Ford dealer. People have the power to make a lasting impact through acts of kindness, compassion, and strength. They inspire us to innovate and educate to do more than we ever thought possible to help you be your healthiest you. Prisma Health, inspired by you. Farm Bureau Insurance is giving you a chance to win two tickets to an upcoming home women's basketball game. Visit uscontest.com and register for your chance to win. Everyone that registers will be entered for the chance to win the grand prize, an autographed ball from Coach Don Staley. Register to win at uscontest.com. That's uscontest.com. Gamecock Insider is brought to you by Prisma Health, the official health care provider of the Gamecocks, and Home Team Barbecue, the new location for Carolina Call. As we return to Gamecock Insider, we're headed over to Beckham Field at Carolina Stadium. Carolina softball finally able to get their season underway. You know, opening weekend wiped out by rain. Then they went on the road for a tournament down in Jacksonville, picked up a couple of victories down in the Sunshine State. And then finally, a chance to come home, play on the home field. 
and take on Coastal Carolina. It was a double dip at Beckham Field and Carolina got the bats out early. Let's look at the highlights. I got a high as high and a butterfly's flight. I got a bee sting and an eagle's sight. I got a will to win and the strength of ten. That was awesome. That was fun to watch. And you guys are seeing that all of our tools and all of our weapons, right? We can make subs. You don't feel it on defense or at the plate, right? We've got a lot of things uh, going for us, and we're just we're really just getting it started. So I think today was a great example of that. They had a lot of freebies for us today, right? Um, and we were able to take advantage of it. So you guys are having great ABs, right? Whether it be hit by pitch, Kenzie's now the career leader in hit by pitches for us, <laughs> right? Um, whether it be hit by pitch or walks, you guys took advantage of it. And then what happens, right? You get uh, bases loaded, then you get a hit and we get two runs and we're able to pile it on. Um, the flip is the same for us. Our pitchers have done a great job limiting walks and opportunities for people to score. So, um, so great job both sides of that, right? Zoom uh, press conference, post game when we're at home. So. Hey guys, it's Carly Henderson. We just took two dubs against Coastal Carolina tonight. It's great to be back on the field and it's great to be back in the AO3. Great start to the home schedule for Beth Smith and her squad. They're back at home this weekend hosting a tournament and Wednesday night they will be hosting Winthrop at Beckham Field as well. As we switch gears now time for our Toyota keys to the game. Let's talk about Carolina men's basketball team. Final home game of the season coming up this week against a very, very hot Arkansas Razorback team, which just defeated Alabama. Arkansas has got the longest winning streak in the league right now. So what's Carolina need to do to snap out of its skid and defeat the Razorbacks? Well, they've got to play at the pace they want to. Arkansas loves to run. So does South Carolina. You've got to pick your spots on when to run. And as much as anything, take advantage of the size and your ability to uh, be at home at Colonial Life Arena for the final time this season. Those are your keys to the game. As always, they are brought to you by Toyota. Let's go places. That'll wrap things up for us this week on Gamecock Insider. Thanks for joining us again. Next week's show, we'll have highlights and a recap from the Palmetto Series, Carolina and Clemson on the diamond. We hope you'll join us then. Until then, I'm Derek Scott. This is Gamecock Insider. This has been a presentation from Learfield IMG College.